What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Standard Saturday, if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching it on Twitch, happy Friday night. Actually, it's 11.39, so it's pretty close to Saturday anyway. Today, we're taking a look at a deck, uh, a buddy of mine, who is actually a viewer uh, on Twitch, Elk Tears, uh, sent over to me. And it's funny, because actually, I went to Brooklyn recently to see Jawbreaker Live, which is one of my favorite bands ever. And Elk Tears actually messaged me. And was like, hey man, we'd love while you're in Brooklyn. He's in Brooklyn. He's like, we'd love to get together and draft with you. And I was like, wow, that sounds awesome. So we went over to his place. We drafted together. There was like six of his other friends. We had uh, New York style pizza. It was fantastic. It was such a cool, such a cool story. Like, it was such a cool interaction with someone that I literally just met through streaming. And um, turns out he's a super cool guy. Had a great time. I also met uh, other viewer Lafof. Uh, who you might know submitted the Sultai deck a little while back. And uh, this is a deck that we called... Uh, he, he We made a joke about... Uh, there was a song by Sean John on the radio. And uh, we made a reference to Chandra at the time. How Chandra... It was Sean John Torch of Defiance. Uh, which kind of evolved into Sean John Control, which is this deck here that he sent to me. And uh, looks super fun right up my alley. Uh, we got one, a lot of one ofs here, which is kind of cool because I like drawing cool cards. So we're gonna hit one Torment of Hellfire, one Tet Tetsamok, one Liliana, one Angrath, uh, one Twilight Prophet, one Gonti, one Sweltering Suns, one Thematic Compass. Lots of one ofs and like just a bunch of guys. Like all eight of these guys: Glinsey of Slifener and Dusk Legion Zealot will help you draw into them. Chandra will help you draw into them. Ideally, Twilight Prophet will help you draw into them. So I don't. I've never actually. Full disclosure, I've never played a game with this deck yet, uh, so, you know, you guys are going to experience it just with me. I'm probably going to misplay a ton. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you guys haven't done so, smash those like and subscribe buttons, and uh, we'll see how things go, because uh, I'm looking forward to trying this bad boy out. Lofof, what's going on, buddy? I just mentioned you. You might notice this is uh, Sean John Control. A Polish sniper, what's going on, buddy? So no elk tears in the chat though. He'll have to check this out on the uh, on the YouTube. But Sean John Tor Torch of Defiance, a classic. I came first at Modern because FNM because I decided to play Gonti in the board of Jund for fun. That is really loud. Um, and kept pulling my opponent's sideboard cards into Mardu in Mardu Pyro matches. That is awesome, dude. That is fantastic. This hand looks great. I'll keep this. We don't get to go first, though, which is really sad, but I guess that's life. You're the only stream I watch on right now. Glad I could get my... F nice, man. Glad to hear it. I appreciate it. All right. Enters tapped. Enters tapped. Enters tapped. Enters tapped. I'm pretty sure it's just Evolving Wilds. We can go Evolving Wilds into land. Play a two drop. Play Cinder Barons. Play a two drop. Cycle Cl Canyon Slow. I'm just going to go to land here. I don't I don't value having secrets of uh, basic land secrets. I'd rather just be able to F6 twice. Or regular 6 now. Neros, what's going on, buddy? Hopefully that doesn't weird you out on the YouTube video. Dragon Skull Slummon it. Hmm. I don't I don't believe this Zelda's gonna survive, but MTGOBot is actually back. Wow, that's a great way to test it out. I'm glad. Uh, oh, God. Just play Compass. Weird. I want to do it on the board. Moment of Craving. Oh, Cycle of Desert. All right. That's better for us. Yoakum! 48 months in a row, buddy. Oh, my God. That's four years. Yoakum, I love you, buddy. I miss you, actually. God, I was just thinking about you earlier. Oh, he, he dies anyway. She dies? Did they die? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I'm just gonna keep playing playing gentlemen and gentle ladies. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna get a mountain here. I'd rather thin out the deck a little bit more because we don't have. I don't really have five lands in hand. I don't. We don't need any more lands. Yoakum, did you ever think you maybe had two 48 month anniversaries? Hmm. Yeah, didn't think about that, did you? I think you're so smart with all your mass, and you don't even know how double 48 months work. Yeah, these slews are getting cycled. Make no mistake. Oh god, something scary is happening. Wow. What do you th what do you think the odds are? It's an hour of promise. That is a beautiful mountain. What if you are subscribed twice? Dun dun dun. Actually, hold on. Let me add a meme real quick. You guys ready? It's going to be a good one. All right, here we go. It's going to be good. I hope it's good. I'm going to be sad if it's not. All right, let's see if this works. You ready? All right, I like it. I feel like that could be a relevant, a relevant addition to our. Oh, look! It's an hour of promise. Who saw that coming? I gotta be honest. Five lands in hand, not good. <laughs> that is correct. Land, 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 land. Card that gets us land. 1-1. One, one. Let's trade you in for... Not ideal, but also not terrible. Well, we're just going to pass. How do I feel about the Dominaria leak? Um, about the leak itself, I don't feel great. Set looks very cool. But... Yeah, I don't really have to do anything right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. That's a lot of things. I don't feel like unlicensing disintegration on a zombie. That seems pretty rough. So we got two basics left. I'm just replacing lands for lands here. Oh, another land. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's get rid of this arch. Yoakum, nice idea, buddy. I like it. I imagine they're going to draw a card. Yep. So we have one more basic in our deck. Yeah, Titus is a good guy. Can confirm. And by buddy, I mean that I met him at a GP. Yeah, you guys are Twitter, bu Twitter, Twitter buddies too, though. 
Something's happening. I feel like we can just take take this damage. Like, uh, Torrent of Hailfire is going to be probably better if we can just get rid of their guys. I mean, to be fair, you and Mia are pretty memorable. Burm, burm, burm. All right, I'm pretty sure I have no more basics after this. I think we have one more turn. Yeah, MTG bot was gone for like one day and uh, it was pretty brutal. I have a feeling they're in a field of ruin our spires and it's going to be real sad because we don't have... Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? I'm playing Sean John, Sean John Control, as you may have noticed. I would also be uh, eager to draw a not land card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 lands out of the deck. We are also, uh, let's see how many lands we're actually running here. Only 24, 24 lands. It really has to be all gas from here on out. Let's see how this plays. I mean, this would be better if you didn't have two zombies in play, but uh, they're obviously playing the Ali and Trazi list because they have cascading cataracts, which is cute. Okay. Uh, Ali uh, Sarani. He's a uh, he plays a lot of sorceries. Sure. Yeah, the control guy, the control master, Ali Sarani. You, everybody knows who Ali Sarani is. Yeah, sure. What up, Sean five forty one? Yeah, he's on the Freshly Stewed podcast. It's it's about food. It's a food podcast. They're going to two here, huh? Freshly food, yeah, that's it. You figured it out. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mean, if they have Zakama here, it's just bad news, right? One, two, three, four for Mastermind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for Zakama. Oh. Intriguing. Raska's Contempt. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Well, considering all the amount of spells we've drawn, which is like five, uh, I don't think we're doing too poorly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spells out of 24 cards. I mean, they kept a bunch of cards in their hand and they're still not playing anything. I guess we just played Tetsamok. Kill all the prey counters. Oh, I wish we had an arch right now as well. In fact, it seems like there should be one in the deck. That would be my uh, request. Oh, God. Is it just Torment of Hailfire here? That would be insane. Ah. I see. That's pretty good. I'm wondering if I actually should even be playing... Like, I, I want to th want to say I shouldn't be playing creatures here because I could try to win in other ways, but... It just doesn't make sense to not play creatures. Like, I mean, it's hard to... It's hard to be like, maybe I'll draw my... Uh, Chandra... Right. Well, I have no. I have no other things to play, which is that's that is true. But the problem is that like playing creatures gives them access to life gain, like where they were at two, and they wouldn't. They just wouldn't be at sixteen if they only had battle or Vraska's contempt in hand, and we just didn't give them any creatures. So, like, if they're at two, we can just try to wait for a Chandra or, like, a... Yep, like that. Uh, keep you on top. You're not gonna counter this, right? Chandra is pretty good. You're not wrong. I mean, it's very likely they're holding Vraska's contempt. Sure. Yep. I mean, we can't play around that, though. And when they when they go to their turn, they're just gonna Ifner Deadlands this guy, but I mean that's still five mana and they get rid of a land, so it's like eh. I feel like they're definitely favored in this portion of the game. Like we don't have enough reach. Are you just gonna moment of craving? Wow. Alright. So they just kept mono removal in their hand.
Sure. Literally back at 22, 23 life. They went from 2 to 23. That's pretty good. Another treasure map, right? Huh? Treasure map? Treasure map? No? I think there's just one torment in the deck, unfortunately. I just want to draw this card. Can we just draw this card? What problem is, buddy? Well, these are two blanks in our hand. Oh, they said, sorry, match is getting laggy. No worries. No worries. They could play more Zomboys. You are not wrong. Speak of the devil. Oh, God. Sideboard time. I mean, as long as we have more time, I think we're in good shape. What card currently not in modern do you want to see your printed so that it is? That is actually not a tough question. I think about it regularly. Uh, my, I have two answers for it. Shardless Agent and Baleful Strix. I think those are the coolest cards that could be reprinted in modern. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, you can tell it's just Ollie's deck because they have the uh, the Cascading Cataracts. Oh, Leovold would be great. I just think Leovold might be too powerful for Modern. Leovold is definitely a card I would love to be playing in Modern, 100%. Here we go. Here you go with your shooties. Oh my god. Yep. I think we're dead this match. I'm not sure. Or this game, rather. Hard to say. Wow. Wow, you wasted a card, but you have a million... That's weird. Why wouldn't you just shoot it again? Don't you... I don't get it. Eating a sandwich. Thank you so much for the four months in a row. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Not Mardu, no white. Well, we get to draw two cards, so that's kind of cool. That's not one of them. Huh. That's pretty good. <laughs> I 
See you later. Bye. See, now, if you had the moment of craving in hand, you'd have a much better way to deal with this Glint Sleep Siphoner. I don't know why you actually didn't just shoot Glorybringer twice. Every time. I only have two cards in hand. Yep, they have one card in hand. That'll do. That'll get the job done. It will actually kill uh, another Zakama if they play one. Boy. Boy, oh boy. Yoakum, have a good night, buddy. I'm so glad to see you. It was great talking to you. Hmm. Where is Angrath? I feel like that would be very, very good. Sure. Knock yourself out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Push does not look that good here, right? Like, that's a joke, right? I feel like the sideboarding for decks like this is great because we can take out all of these cards and just bring in much stronger cards. Hey, look at that guy. Okay, another removal spell. On the bright side, if they don't Ifner Deadlands this guy, we do have we, they do lose in twenty nine turns, thirty thirty two turns is is when they lose. So, boy, get him! It's the final countdown. <laughs> Great. See you later, fatal pushes. Oh my god. Come on, dude. I mean, any win condition they play is just dead on the spot, right? We will likely deck first. All right, that'll do. Also pretty good. Oh, ho, 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 boy. That's pretty good. Dan, 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 dan. That was the best Gonti I've ever seen. Worm City. I think they can still win here. Like, they're going to Vraska's Contempt something, of course they are. And then, like, with Hashep Oasis and Ifner Deadlands, they might be able to just kill us. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we still die. Go to 12. We'll see if that if that fixes things. I think that actually does kind of save us here. Sure. All right, go to five. Sure. Can we give the Carnage Tyrant flying? Is that a thing we can do? I guess we're going to three here. All right. They have no cards in hand? That's pretty good. Oh, I definitely saw some of the leaked Dominary cards right now. So they can make this guy a 10, which means we have to, like, block 5, take 5. Ver oh, come on, really? That's pretty good. Wow. We go to 5. They just activate again. Sure. This game is way too close. That's frustrating. Yep, that's what we figured. They actually could have Field of Ruin the Oasis, I guess. That actually would have been pretty decent. I don't think that does anything, though, because then we have to contempt both of these guys, and we just don't have the mana to do it. It was an option, though, so that's worth considering. All right, we'll just go to the next game. They have eight minutes. We have 13, so I feel pretty okay about that. All right, uh, let's bring in Lost Legacy. Let's bring in the other Gonti. I'll take out Swelter. Actually, Sweltering Suns is probably better than things like Fatal Push is probably bad. Um... I do like Gifted Aetherborn. I also like Duress. So we're going to bring in... We're going to take out the Moment of Cravings. Uh, a Braid is also not great here. Unlicensed really... Actually, Unlicensed kills Zakama, I guess. Tetsamok is a, is a win condition, but I'd rather just have more consistent guys like this guy and this guy and Blood Feast, maybe? I like drawing cards, I just don't paying two life to draw a card. Probably just one Dusk Legion Zealot. Actually, I don't know if we need multiple contempts and Ultimate Descent, Unlimited, Ultimate, Unlicensed Disintegrations. Uh, Sweltering Suns is fine because we can always cycle it, but it's also a card that wipes away multiple zombies at once, which we're going to have to do anyway. So, it just seems fine. 
Yeah, I like this hand. Turn one to rest and a turn two treasure map. Seems good. Our Doomfall approach. Hmm. Well, you don't have any white mana. Our is definitely the most relevant card in your deck, so we're going to take that. Uh, what we lost Legacy? We lost Legacy, either Mastermind or um, Approach, depending on what they have. This guy's pretty, pretty, pretty. Desert. Now the question is, do we Treasure Map or do we Glint Sleeve Siphoner? Based on what we know, it's probably Glint Sleeve Siphoner. My problem is they have... Um, they have Doomfall in hand, so they're probably going to Doomfall a card out of our hand. So we have to value whether we want to never play Treasure Map and play Glint Sleeve Siphoner here, or never play... Never play... I, I think they'd take Angrath over Siphoner, because Siphoner is just easy to deal with. They might actually take the Angrath over the Treasure Map as well, but... Exile creature we control. All right, gift of the born it is. Wow, that's pretty good. Give me that energy. So, unless they can kill both of these, we're going to draw one card. That's pretty good. They have six cards in hand, though? Gross. Okay. Doomfall again? Connor Ryan, what's going on, buddy? Oh, it is another Doomfall. All right. Well, we're going to hope we draw land here, so we're not going to scry, because we want to play Angrath here. Land? Oh, <laughs> rude. Hmm. I'm just going to play this. And we will actually scry this time. Or we play treasure map number two. Hmm. Nah, I think this is fine. I want to get this treasure map online as quick as possible, so. That's rude. Why you gotta be like that? Bottom. Bam. 
Getting my flame chains on. Map flips into Treasure Cove, which just adds a mana, or you can sacrifice a treasure to draw a card. So it's basically like you get three, you get three cards, three extra cards. Who wins? One thematic compass or one spicy minotaur boy? I have not tried out turns yet. I am definitely excited to do so with Jace the Mind Sculptor, though. So that will probably be coming up at some point in the future. Oh, discarded the approach. All right, so you have one card. I don't know what it is. Good to know. I mean, we know they have Veraska's Contempt, though, so... It's still a two-for-one, though. We got rid of an Approach and an Angrath. And they gained the two life back that they already lost, so... Oh, I guess we just win the game. That's pretty good. Oh, this hand is rough, but not really, I guess. We can keep this. We got a Glincy of Siphoner and a treasure map, so that'll do. Uh, this is our first round, so our, our Phoenix 20, you are uh, you know as much as we do. <laughs> they also have four minutes to win so I don't know if this is a deck that wins in four minutes that's good I wish this was a field of ruin though I almost feel like this deck should run Aether Hubs because it gives you Glensleeve Siphoner. Like, it lets you be able to draw the, the turn, the literal turn after you play a Glensleeve Siphoner. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, that's the perfect, isn't it? We're going to try to hit a land here. <laughs> that counts. I'll take it. I will trade one for one and gain two life. That is more than fine. Oh, no, you're just going to take four. Okay. Hmm. Intriguing. Take four here. This is an approach turn. Gandhi's pretty good with an approach turn.
No, not approach. Another hour? Oh, I just kill my Glint Save Siphoner. That's aggressive. Hmm. I feel like we got a black here. Man, these lands coming into play untapped. Not good times. We still got this Chandra, though. Moment of craving our gifted uh, Aetherborn so we don't fatal push. Alright, so they have very few cards left in their hand. I'm going to play you. Nope, that's not going to work. Play Sean John. Add to treasure map. All right, we did it. Yep, no blocks. Torment of Hailfire. Okay. I don't know if they can win in three minutes, though. And we have a Sean John on board. Hour of Promise number two. All right. Torment would have been pretty good next turn for seven. <laughs> no joke. That is unfortunate. Uh, we have lost Legacy on the sideboard, and it's in our main deck, so... Well, it's not in our main deck. It's in the main deck now because we boarded it in, so... Be the one sweltering suns. It's not terrible. I don't know if we want to play it though. Nah, we'll just deal you two. Come on, something good. None of these are great. Probably say Doomfall here. Ooh, going into the combat step pretty quick here. Everybody at Chandra. You at Chandra. You at Chandra. You, you two at Chandra. You three at Chandra. Everybody at Chandra. Nope. Wait, one of me? No, they're all Chandra. Okay. Well, I'll eat one. And we'll lose Sean John. Sure. They have two cards in hand and two minutes on the clock. Oh boy, that's something, isn't it? Well, you're going on the bottom. You're going on the bottom. Well, no cards in hand now. Alright, so the way they win now is by uh, having Carnage Tyrant. Wits in. What's going on, man? Glad you could finally catch a stream live. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Alright, so we figured out how they win. We got two two draws to be sweltering suns. 
And this is why we brought in, this is why we kept the sweltering suns in the in the deck. Really? Sure. Nope, that ain't gonna work. All right. You don't do it. Neither do you. Wow. Cool. Uh, yep. And that's the end. That was touch luck. A minute and 13 seconds in the Mastermind's acquisition deck wins. That is all you can really all you can really expect, I guess. What up, Nostrafix? Pretty good. Can't complain. I don't think there are any open stipulations right now. Uh, I'm still associated with CFP. I just don't actually... I, I've just been focusing on my YouTube channel. As you can tell, with daily uploads. So if you guys are looking for... Um, Uh, looking for any videos you missed. Sorry, I got interrupted. My friend, my friend Mike messaged me. Um, check out my YouTube channel, youtubecom slash Frank Lepore, and uh, they I post every day at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So, there you go. Travelers Amulet. Hot hands coming through. A uh, different mic now. I wouldn't say my friend Mike to you guys. You guys all know who Mike is, so I wouldn't. Uh, I don't know if they've even done Magic TV in a while. Oh, Captain Lannery Storm. Now I'm going to kill that instead. Look, we're both playing red-green decks. Or red-black decks. And, uh... I'm the control version and they're the aggro version. That's funny to me. And play this guy.
All right. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, top eights were great. Magic team was great. CFB is great. All things are great. Oh, they're playing Jund. Mono Basics Jund, apparently. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Rock Lobster. I'm just going to kill this. If they have a Vraska's Contempt, she's dead anyway. I'd rather get the two for one out of it. Yep, and they do. All right. Well, that was good. Hey, that's pretty good. I guess we could play Gonti here. No, we're just going to play Chandra here. Be a land. Really? Don't have a haste guy. Yeah, I don't hate Chandra in a cycle. Good lord. Well, that's all the Chandras. They've all been exiled. Maybe they're not. Maybe maybe they're the control deck. No, don't exert. Oh God. That's where Sean John belongs in exile. That's sad. That's that's rude to Sean John. Well, they have one card in hand, so I feel like we're doing okay. Black. Let's see what we can get here. Be a Carnage Tyrant, or a Vraska. Cruel Reality? Oh, baby. That's gas. That's exciting. That's exciting gas. This is this is a moment. This is the moment that you never thought you'd have where you get to cast Cruel Reality in Standard. Well, we can't play it right now. We got to wait till next turn. But oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, Captain Lannery Storm. I'm gonna trade you. Because if we trade here, your land re your the the cruel reality gets better for us. What? Wait, oh, we didn't, oh, I could, oh my god. It gets me every time, dude. I always forget revolt is when when their permanent dies, not when your permanent dies. So once they sacrifice their treasure, I was like, oh, let's try to kill it now, because it's three. That's pretty bad. Never said I was good at this game. Other people did, but I never did. And then other people said I wasn't as well. So, you know, it's you get the whole gamut, the whole gamut of feelings. Hmm. It's still a legal target. You're destroying target creature with a converted mana cost two or less. You can still target it. It doesn't say... Um, oh, no. It says destroy target creature if it has converted mana cost two or less. So, uh, it's never not a legal target. However, previously, 
you'd be able to click on push and it says target creature with casting cost four or less or target any creature. It would have two different modes. Uh, one of which just made sure that it was a legal target and apparently that's gone. So, uh, yeah. Rock Lobster. Well, the problem is you can't have it... You can't You can't make uh, a creature with two or less an illegal target. Because you're able to target two different specific creatures, right? So you have... Um, you can target a creature with, with, with casting cost two or less. And you can target a creature with casting cost four or less. Right? So it's it's hard to explain in order to be legal at both points it has to be able to target every creature I have no idea what we're playing against here I feel like I always want Gonti like just why aren't all the Gontis in here I'm always disappointed in in Elk Tears because he just he puts one Gonti in the deck come on buddy you're better than that. All right, hold on. No. Oof. Lafof. Oh, I'll keep this. This is a good, this is a beauty. Uh, I'll put you on the bottom. I don't actually feel like we need this right now. I'm just going to play a uh, Swamp Aruski and we're going to keep up a braid probably and play Treasure Map maybe. Who knows? Yeah, we're just going to kill this guy. How come you couldn't how come you couldn't combo off? So you cast the Sahili you can cast the cat. How come you couldn't combo off, though? Oh, it was blink. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. I forgot about that. Oh, now I wish we just kept the abrade. Whatever, I got my own treasure map. I'm, I, I got my own Swamp Swamp Mountain treasure map, buddy. No, I don't. I lied. I like this Evolving Wilds then Scry, and that's good. Little things like that. I forget to do stuff like that. You're better than a land. All right, I'll keep you. My favorite deck? I don't know. That's a good question. I actually have no idea. I know it's a bad answer, but like I, I think it's too hard to uh, it's too hard to come up with on the spot. bottom yep you can just waste that mana here 
Here we go with the Vraska's Contempt again. Never didn't have it. Turns. Turns everywhere. Oh, five mana, eh? Six mana. Oh, boy. Mm, that's a good card. Yes. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh, torment and and treasure map. What is there a card in these in red black that gets a card back from your graveyard? Because there's a tons of times that our stuff dies and we just want to get it back. What's in your head? Ah, oh, four six. It's pretty big. Come on. Really? Zombie. Be. Be. Ooh. Ooh. With your tanks and your bombs and your bombs and your guns. Just gonna play this guy. Come on. All right. Actually, we might as well cycle this now. Because if we hit a, a two drop, like a, a gifted. <sighs> That's sad. Maybe they have nothing? Who knows? Don't play another Marionette Master. That's all I'm saying. Oof. Are we just dead? 12 damage here? Ugh. Gross. And now we're dead. Wow, this deck is great. Now I know what we're playing against. I imagine they know what they're doing here. Maybe. All right, we're at nine. Sack three artifacts. Yep. All right, that's exciting. Let's bring in Lost Legacy for Marionette Master. Let's take out the Fatal Pushes because, boy, those aren't very good here. Let's bring in Chupacabra. Sure. I feel like we can win this game, but I'm not thrilled about it. I feel like uh, the marionette combo along with Vraska is pretty hard to deal with, but we have a ton of a ton of ways to deal with it.
What's in your head? So I'm pretty sure we're just going to actually cycle Canyon slow because it doesn't let us play anything next turn. Yeah, we're killing you. So never mind. We get to draw a card, though. Maybe we get a card we can play. No, another Canyon slow. Okay. Cool story. Well, I think we get to draw a card next turn, too. I guess we'll find out. Stay tuned. Next time on Canyon Slow Z. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, you're going to get your green source. I will block you. No, I won't. We have plenty of ways to kill you. Oh my god, how many canyon slows are we going to draw? Uh, three of them, Frank. That's how many. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Well, I guess we're just going to keep playing him because we have no reason not to. The caution symbol just means that you're not yielding to them. So if you say don't yield to this anymore, uh, it won't it won't annoy you with it anymore. Whereas the caution symbol on my side of the board right now, like right here, means I'm not yielding to anything they do. I have no responses. So... See, like right now, it's not going to prompt me. It's just going to ask me if I want to say yes, and I do. Hey, look, it's not a... Uh, pretty sure we're tormenting a torment of hail firing here. I think Torrent of Hailfire might just win us the game here. For six? I mean, they could discard. They could sack a treasure and discard two cards. Oh, all right. They just win the game. Or we just win the game. Somebody wins the game. All right. Seems good. Good times. 1-1. One, one. All right. Oh. Yep. Bip, 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 bip. Torment is pretty, pretty backbreaking. Uh, this is not a list someone paid me to, to try out. Uh, this is a, a list my friend Elk Tears uh, asked me to try out. And, um, you know, it was the least I could do. He invited me into his home. We drafted his cube together. He paid for New York style pizza for us. And uh, it was it was a good time. Good time has had by by all, including LaFoaf in the chat as well. While we were in Brooklyn. And, um... So yeah, uh, Phoenix 20, I do offer um, deck critiques, uh, which I try to do just because a lot of people seemed interested in them. You can check out the information on Twitch, on my Twitch profile. Oh, they went to six? They're basically dead. Oh, they're basically dead.
Yeah, we're just gonna crack this now. I don't want to forget and be like, oh, I'll just play my fatal push. <laughs> this will trigger my revolt. Uh, no, I'd rather just make sure it, it hits. Black and Ramp of Torment and Masterminds Acquisition. That actually was a deck. I actually think I have a deck like that in my... Like, there's a black... Nope, that's Ollie's list. Here's black, black Green Control. Uh, it doesn't have Torment, though, interestingly enough. It has Battle at the Bridge. But otherwise, pretty similar. Two Masterminds, a Gonti. The only thing is is Torment, which is weird that it's not there because it's a very, very good uh, win condition. All right, so this is a Sweltering Suns matchup if I ever saw one. Here it is. Cast only target creature with a converted mana cost two or less. That did not show up last time. So when it didn't show up last time with the Captain Lannery issue, I just assumed every creature was legal. But that doesn't make any sense because it's only going to be four or less. Anyway. Anyway, it's still weird. Look at this weirdo trying to fit in with vampires. Hey guys, I swear I'm one of you. Does anyone know the lore as to why these vampires can be out in the sun? Is that a thing? Do you guys know that vampire story? The old legend? What if I play Dusk Legion Zealot? What if I play one of your own? What do you do against that? Nothing. Lock here. Good, good morning, buddy. Can I draw? Let me draw my card. Oh, it's another Dragon Skull Summit, eh? Okay. Next time we got some options, we can contempt something, which is not exciting. Actually, contempting this guy is pretty good. Oh, I see. Well, I'm definitely blocking here, because I don't care about this guy, but... I'm regretting what I've done. I shouldn't have let that triggered. But then they probably wouldn't have attacked with everything, so... I guess it's kind of 50-50. They do have three lands now. I don't know if that's better. They probably pick Radiant Destiny. Nope, just Aspirant. And another landing. Okay. Hmm. Well, land? No land, okay. Man. Man, oh man. Well, now I can jump block somebody, so that's pretty good. Oh, now you gotta get rid of one? That's too bad. This feels bad. I am not thrilled with this. Go to one. All right. Seems good. Do you guys remember when we had lands 
and we can realistically play things like Glorbringer or Tetsamog. Now it's going to be a land. Because it's not going to matter at this point. It's not terrible. It doesn't do the job, though. Exile you, go to three. And then die. Okay. That'll do. That was gross. Sweltering Suns comes in. Hour comes in. Aetherborns come in. Doomfall comes out. Oh, what else are we taking out here? Liliana can come out. I kind of like stealing their two ones that get, um, that make a 1-1, one because -one, then we can just throw it back at them. Probably want the other braid. Take out some zealots. I mean, real talk, I, I'm very familiar with how efficient this Black White Vampires deck is, so. Uh, we're just going to play Canyon Slow. MTG Wiki doesn't say, just so the immune to sunlight is possible, Wizard just never went into it. Yeah, that could be. That could just be like, ah, eh, don't worry about it. Mm. Oh, come on with that guy. Yeah, I'll just block. We're not going to take less than three from that guy, so... God, this deck is so aggressive. It's like very, very aggressive. Like uncomfortably aggressive. That's pretty okay. Wow. Okay. All right, 9 to 14. We got a race, boys. Sure. <laughs> Three lands, you got it. Martyr, don't be a martyr. It was a martyr. Hey, that's pretty good. It was actually very good. Scrap heap scroungy. Bottom. Uh, 
the bottom. Hmm. Intriguing. We can put them to one, which doesn't do anything. But I don't think they can deal an extra four to us. Yeah, you definitely don't need Scrounger in this deck. Like, this is a deck that's completely fine without Scrounger. Okay. You're still dead now. Oh, no, you kill Chandra. I get that. I get that. I don't care about that. Care about two lands less, but mm -hmm. all right. Well, that was a good time. Having a good time. I almost don't hate Gonti. I think Gonti is actually pretty good. Torrent's probably too slow. Bring in the other Gonti. Oh, they might have boarded in Gonti or uh, Scrounger. Yeah, that's a good point. I, c I can get behind that. This is an expensive hand. I'll keep it. They went to six, so maybe they're just dead. Who knows? Oh, Triple Canyon Slow. I didn't actually notice that was three lands, but... Boy, that's... Uh... Well, now they can play a Legion Loyalist. Or a Martyr. Always Martyr. Chips could be fine. It's just hard to cut things in the deck. You don't want too many expensive cards against this deck, so. There's a lot of lands. Can we draw one land that's going to play tap so we can Gonti? That'd be pretty good. What is rat colonies? That's my question. Yeah, we're definitely blocking here. That's actually a great draw. I see. Hmm. Landing, binding. Probably just binding, right? It's cast, right? Yeah. I would have liked something cheaper, maybe with lifelink, but maybe a martyr of my own. I like that they don't have a white mana to play things like Ixalan's Binding or Radiant Destiny, so that's nice, but...
Hmm. I think we might be dead. I feel like we're just a little too... Uh... Just take three. They make a 2-2 two -two instead. I'll just take three here. We can go seven. Sure. Oh, why don't you make double red? Yeah, I was actually thinking landing. Yeah, landing would have been nice there. We can actually block here, block here. Scrounger is real annoying here. Twilight Prophet? Oh, wow. Seems good. So we are at six, essentially. Block here. Block here. Take five. Come on. I think we're still dead, right? Like we block here, we ah, no, we're not. We we block here, we go to three, we take one. If they have moment of craving, we're dead. Oh. Oh my. Oh wow. Wow wow wow. What can we do? Fatal Push Gaunty? No, I'd rather just take the guy with the Angrath. Yep, we actually died because of Scrounger, and they hit another land. Well, actually, they don't have double black, so that's pretty good. Champion of Ducks. All right. Well, we're not dead yet. Face and Angrath. Well, we have to block here, so we lose Angrath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We can play both of these, which is pretty good. We also just binding the scrap heap scrounger for four and cast unlicensed on this idiot.
19 to 6. We're getting up there. On this idiot. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. So next turn we could... If we draw a land, we can Gonti and Glorybringer, which is pretty good. This Gifted Aetherborn has doing has been doing some work here. Oh, Binding on... Oh, don't be Chandra. Oh, Binding on Binding. Okay, that's actually fine. Landing. All right, so we can just keep killing this guy. That should be fine for now. Hey, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to be able to play both of these guys. And we can. And it's a land. All right, nicely done. Martyr and Champion. Ooh, boy. Definitely going with Martyr there. Do we play Martyr now? I don't think so. I want to be able to kill this guy so they can't flip their Legion's Landing. I don't actually care if they get it back. Like, I'd rather just... Like, they're not going to attack with our two vampires here. Oh. I feel like we're stabilizing. That's pretty good. Sweltering Suns. Or that guy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We actually have enough for both. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, that's why I took the martyr because I think it's a great it's a great card to have. Um, I mean, they're going to get scavenger back here, but we're at nine now, so that's pretty good. And they have one card in hand, soon to be two. Flipping Legion, Legion's Landing is kind of obnoxious, but, I mean, we block here, we take 3, 4, 5, and we gain 2, so we take 3, we go to 6. I can't imagine they have two, like, Radiant Destinies in hand. Uh, we didn't attack with the Lifelinker because they block with 3. They'll just put 3 in front of this if they want to. And I kind of wanted to keep him alive. They're actually going at Chandra here, which is interesting. They're at eight. Yeah, you can kill Chandra. That seems fine. Like our hand is Chandra Martyr, which is pretty good. Dip twice, what's going on? Alright, this is a lot of guys. Now we're looking for a... Uh... Wow! Huh. 
Hot. Oh, God, that's really bad. Nope, not doing that. All right, well. Seems bad. Wow, the triple call of the feast, I guess, is the one thing you don't want to see. Along with the Chefette dunes. We can block three of them, so we take 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we're basically dead if they Chefette dunes, which is unfortunate. Wow, I felt like this game was so good up until triple call of the feast back to back. I guess nine vampires is just too much to deal with. Actually, we block here, I think, and we survive, maybe. One, two, three, and then we take 12, but we go to 11. Yeah, that we'll have to do that. Yeah, that's better, but still not great. I think we go to one here. All right, still alive. And they're at 25. Okay, so they have seven guys. They can make another guy, which puts them at eight guys. We have four guys. Does the one guy make a difference? No, the one guy doesn't make a difference. It makes a difference if they only have... No, we gotta look. Okay, basically the same thing then. That's really sad. Yeah, there's no way we're alive here, unfortunately. Uh, I might be doing a cube after this, I'm not sure. Because they're not going to activate. They're just going to make a 1-1. One, one. At this point, it doesn't matter. Like, they just have Chef at Dunes and six guys. Um, Scrappy would be gone, but they'd still have the 1-1 one, one instead. So they'd still have six guys. They'd actually have seven guys. Yeah, they'd have seven guys either way. It actually, it's an irrelevant play. They'd have seven 2-2s. Two and we have four blockers. So we take six damage and we only get to gain two. Yep. We gain three, I guess, which is not terrible, but we still take six and we gain three, so we go to negative two. Unfortunate. Any removal spell here, which would be pretty good, but... We did board in the second Sweltering Suns in the hour, right? Because we didn't see them in any games. All right, I guess we did. Unfortunate. Well, we don't really gain three because we're just going to block the biggest guy anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, we gain, we gain three on our turn. Yeah, we're right. We gain three on our turn, but it we just puts us to the four. So whether it's seven guys, whether it's six vampires and one scrap heap scrounger or seven vampires, it, we're, we're dead either way. So it doesn't really matter. Mm, keep this hand. That game felt very close until they had triple call of the feast. 
Yeah, everyone's cubing right now because it's awesome. That's why they're cubing. Also, if you guys want to support the stream, uh, definitely feel free to f ship me a follow or uh, subscribe if you like. Both of those things are super helpful and appreciated. Another scrounger, huh? All right. God, I don't like Tetsumok in this deck. I don't like Tetsumok at all, actually. Black Flame 43. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to the Saltai Brood. Uh, we're just going to crack this guy. We have no reason not to. We'll get a, 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 a Montagna. I do, I do want to take the Cinder Barons out for Aether Hubs because I think they're just better. Uh, I also like the ability to go Aether Hub, Glint Sleeve, Siphoner, and actually just draw a card the turn after they come into play. Which is nice. Ruin Raider. Oh, God. What is even happening? Double three twos. Gonti just has to trade with these idiots. Gonti, you're so much better than that. Mm -hmm. Wow, I don't want any of these cards. Oh my god, these aggressive decks, dude. I mean, key at least gives us a way to uh, to discard things, which is good, I guess. It's not great. I mean, I'll 100% block Ruin Raider if they attack with a Ruin Raider. Yeah, I'm probably going to block Scrap Peep Scrounger too. They don't have anybody else in the graveyard, so... Still have five cards in their hand? Good lord. All right. I assume you played that one? Did you play a swamp that turn? You did. I'll assume it's this one. This one come on top? I don't know which one he played. I'll just I'll just assume it's still in your hand. You got five cards. I'll assume one of them is a swamp. I guess we take five here. Well, we got a 13 there at 14. It's not terrible. I'm out of juice. Oh, I kind of like the idea of Scorpion uh, God over Tetsamok. That seems fun. That's the world I want to live in. Heart of Kieran. Well, that's scary. One, two, three, four. Just gonna play you. God, I don't even care about the stupid key to the city. Mm -hmm. 
I'll crew my heart of Kieran. Well, at least we got our Glorbringer back next turn. That's pretty good. Wow, all at me. Aggressive. Guess we go to seven. I mean, they were putting us to three, which is pretty insane, so. Nope, you can go to another land. Wow. Another land? How about more lands? A braid? Okay. So block, block. A braid block, I guess? I don't know. We're definitely going to cycle this canyon slow, though. I'm just going to kill a guy? No. Bring that guy back, sure. One of my blockers. You do. Let's crack this guy. All right, you're dead. You're dead, is what I meant to say there. I don't know what I actually said there. I guess I hope you don't have the uh, the one art the art of the like plus two plus o or plus one plus o or whatever it is. They always have it, especially in a constructed game of Magic: The Gathering. I guess we get a one here. All right, not dead. God, going to one is like. It's my bread and butter here, apparently. We do. We have a uh, hour, and we have sweltering suns on our sideboard. We need three blockers. That's actually pretty good. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is gonna cost three, this is gonna cost five. And you're gonna exile the dread wanderer. You get back scrap heap scrounger. You kill our zombie and then attack us. I think we're dead. Yeah, I guess we can bring back Gaunti instead. That does survive. Return Gaunti. Let's get, actually, Aethersphere Harvester is pretty good. <laughs> I'm probably just going to play this because having the mana seems way more valuable at this point. I mean, they're going to have two guys, so we might as well, actually, might as well kill the Scrap Heap Scrounger, right? 
Maybe not. I mean, the thing is, like, they're going to attack with both. We block both. So if we attack, we definitely get one off the board, and they have one creature. So they have to have an answer for Gonti. If we don't attack, we could block and they could Ifner Deadlands. Yeah, we're just going to attack. Plus, we have to start dealing some damage at some point, so. However, Fatal Push is live this way, so. <sighs> yep, this is our concern. No, actually, they get. Yeah, no, they have to actually get Scrap Heap Scrounger back. Never mind. Oh, uh, we don't lose the push because we have Gonti. I guess they could actually do four to Gonti, if no Deadlands to Gonti, and then they can just uh, still have mana for push. Like, they have exactly six. They need six to do it, so that's the only reason that it's in question. Is it Deadlands? Sack to itself. And one of your last two cards is push. Not push. All right. Still alive. And they don't have a... S okay, that's actually fine. That's actually great for us. That's not... That is. That is two. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can actually play Moment of Craving here as well. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. All right. I guess we win that game. Woo. Angrath, steal your gift at Aetherborn. Go to three. Moment of Craving this guy. Make a guy with Liliana. Uh, we can also play Aether Sphere, Har Aether Sphere Harvester. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that game one? That feels like so much later than game one. All right, take out the Zealots. Bring in a Braid, Gifted Aetherborn, Gifted Aetherborn. Chupacabra, Sweltering Suns, Our Gonti. Twilight Prophet seems great. I'm just waiting for the moment we can actually Twilight Prophet here. I'll take all the Zealots out. I don't think they're great here. Gaunti doesn't seem great, but he's a 2-3. So, like, he does survive... I definitely don't like Tracker here. Tracker seems... Oh, I guess Tracker because he exiles the um, the scavenging... Scavenging... Marauder. What are they still tells it? Scavenging... I don't... I actually forgot what that dude's called. Which is utterly hilarious to me. And one other cut. Scrounger. Scrap heap scrounger. That, that's what it is. I just forgot what it is. We got it. We nailed it. I'm going to take it the hour. We have two sweltering suns. Plus, I'd like to have a thing that doesn't kill our glory bringers. Now, oh, the old triple five drop hand against the aggressive red deck. Hmm. Aggressive, aggressive black deck, rather. I think we have to ship this in, even though it has all the cards we want. Although, all, we have land and spells. I mean... The top four drop was one Ravenous Chupacabra, I think. No, oh, this is much better. 
I'm going to keep this hand. Because any one land and we're in pretty good shape here. Could be death. I don't really want to go to five cards on the on the draw, though. I don't want to go down and play. It's better on the draw. All right, there you go. Dread Wanderer, huh? Well, that's awkward. That's not. If only we went Evolving Wilds first. I guess if they play something, though, we can Sweltering Suns everything, so that's pretty good. God, taking four here? Taking six, actually, right? Because you're going to crew with this Ruin Raider. Yep. And you get the draw card, deal six, draw card. What a time to be alive. We're going to take four again, but... Ugh. That was crew three, though, so we could be in good shape. We're not. They're going to play another dude. Oh, God. Come on. <laughs> Maybe they have nothing as the... Uh the preferred option, but mm, not 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 so. Another sweltering suns, moment of craving. All right, well, fourth land would have been nice. So we can play two things, or a Chandra and one thing, or hmm. maybe now they have nothing else. Just mono lands in hand. Uh, doubt it. Well, that's one land. All right. Paying costs. Okay, that's two lands. Ooh. I mean, it's basically a land, right? Because they, uh, it's not a guy. Do we just take one here? That seems sweet. It's got to be treasure map, right? It's got to be Chandra. I mean, it's got to be treasure map, right? You leave me with two Chandras when I have three lands. It's so much worse than leaving me with one treasure map, one Chandra. All right. So be it. Oh, okay. Comes in to play tapped. Seems good. Land. Just be a land. Just be a land. Cool. I was hoping it was a treasure map. So next turn they just deal us five. We go to two. Having a good time. Go to two. Answer on top, maybe? That's a good dude. It's not an answer. Okay. Let me take one Chandra out for something else. Ugh. These matches have been taking a while. I don't want Lost Legacy. I don't want Gaunti. I don't want Hour. I don't want Tetsamok. I don't want Torment. I don't want the Dusk Legion Zealots. They can block, but 
we have better things. This hand's keepable. You can go second turn map. Third turn gifted Aetherborn. It feels like Heart of Kieran might be their only their only target for duress, so I'm not thrilled about it. Oh, I guess we don't I guess we're not gifted either morning. Put the card on top. All right. Yeah, we'll just play you. Yeah, I like Tetsamaka an idea as well. Like, but I want to be able to go like, pray, 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 play. Right? Pray, 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 play. That's what I want to do. But that costs nine mana. So instead, you're like, I'll put three counters on your guys. And, um, wow, that's pretty comical. Um, instead you're like, I'll put three counters on your guys, I'll take seven, and then I'll hope I have six mana next turn to kill all your guys. It's really difficult. Do we have another one? Actually, this was fine because we were going to Sweltering Suns anyway, so it's whatever. Fourth Bridge Prowler killing a Glint Sleeve Siphoner is still pretty comical, though. Sure. I guess we're not Sweltering Suns. Where do they take Chandra? I don't know. Okay, Sweltering Suns it is. Yeah. Sounds good. We have basic land. There's one in six here. Hey, we did it. That's nice because next turn we can Chandra and we can treasure map this turn. So it actually is probably one of those mana, most mana efficient things we can draw. Going into turn four and only having taken one damage is pretty good against this deck, I feel. bottom take whatever we get just because we have a Chandra that we're going to play oh, well that's not going to do let's just add to and we'll scry here I'll keep a braid. Because next we can braid, scry, and shoot something and kill both their guys if they don't have anything else. This is a weird play on turn four, on turn three, because it, it says they don't have anything else. I guess they're going to play raid, raid brother, raid raider, ruin raider. Oh, I see. Now a braid is even better. Um, okay, Canyon Slow. 
Not to be confused with Canyon Fast. Raid brother. Oh, old Cypherino. Sure. I want to see you waste the energy. No? No wasting it? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is to be seven. Yeah, I'm still going to keep you. Oh, wait. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Oh, my excitement is real right now, boy. If I'm not mistaken, that should be the city's blessing. That's pretty insane. Uh, I think we actually just Glorybringer and kill this guy. It gets rid of all of our... No, it doesn't. It gets rid of two. That's actually pretty good. I got my own raid, daddy. Hey, Ferd. What's going on, my buddy? Chris, is your birthday coming up? I feel like your birthday is coming up. I, I, God, I knew they had Twilight. Oh, God, I knew they had Fatal Push, rather. Five-day weekend? That's pretty exciting. What just happened? Big Bar, Tim Bones, Frank, what's your alcoholic beverage of choice? Also, thanks for the awesome content. Cheers. Uh, I'm not a big drinker, actually, so I couldn't even tell you. Oh, the one time we get we land Twilight Prophet with the city's blessing, it just goes right in the garbage can. There's no justice in the world, guys. Dead Eye Tracky. Um, for now, we'll play you. I've been trying to get him trashed for like three years. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Why you do this? Really? Had we known. If I knew then what I know now. And he's dead. A Bondine song? I don't even know who the Bondines are. I, I I consider myself to be pretty hipster and I don't know who the Bondines are. Chandra will die now. Bodines? I don't know who they are either. Man. So you're going at Chandra, you're going at me? Yeah, that's fine. I'll take one. So long, Chandra. How does a dragon walk a plank? I'm going to draw a card here because I like drawing cards. That's why. They're going to be two lands, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, the Chandra came back! One, two, three, four. God, I wish we could shoot. I wish we had one more land that wasn't untapped. Or that wasn't tapped. I also wish this wasn't in the middle of my lands. That would be great. We literally have seven mana, which means we can't do this and this. 
and we can't do this and this. All of which is very sad. I think we're just Vraska's contempting here, unfortunately, in playing this, so we can do those things next turn. Uh, the record so far is 2-2, two, two, I believe. 1-2, one, 1-2. Two, one, two. I was, I was uh, assuming we won this match already, which we have not done. This guy's also a pretty solid blocker, but they're going to Ifner deadlands it. That's sad. What did he ever do to you? Literal nothing. Well, they have no cards left. One of my all-time favorite magic moments is you nearly yelling at Squee, Gollum and Bob for not always yielding to its trigger, playing Black Red Menace, and saying Grave Scrabbler in as many ways possible. Oh man, that was old. That was old school. This is actually pretty okay. We get to exile this and take one. That's cool. Did you see the energy is moving? It like went from here to here? That's weird. Red, red, you, you. Shandy. Let's just see what we got. Uh, scavenging grounds, okay. That's good. Did not want that anyway. Are there two scavenging grounds in this deck? That's weird. Stop being weird, Elk Tears. So Shandy can only take four damage here anyway, so she definitely survives. Pretty sure I'm definitely blocking one of these guys. Probably this Night Market guy. Because otherwise you just get this guy back. I'm trying to I'm trying to conserve my life total, not let you ruin it. I will pay this life. I need to draw all the cards I can. Well, that's just getting played. We have no reason to hold on to that. Well, might as well see what we hit, I guess. Uh, another land. Okay, lands are pretty prevalent here, I guess. Let's just play old angry. I'm going to five with this guy, then they can go three, two, one, I guess. That doesn't seem great. does put them to not a lot though So we sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step, and they can respond to that by bringing this guy back, which is pretty bad. They have no cards in hand, though. Yeah, this is fine. We'll just make them discard and deal two. They can only kill one Planeswalker here anyway, so we get to go to... 
three, four, five. They can also put us to five, but I feel like that's not great for them. That was a good draw, because now you can Ifner Deadlands our Glint Sleeve Siphoner, which is why we attack with it and not don't attack with it. This deck feels like it wants four Gifted Aetherborns. Chandra. Ga Angrath. Angrath, okay. Sure. Kill our Siphoner. And then we had nothing left. Top deck mode, go! How about a uh, Glorybringer? It's actually pretty good. I mean, it doesn't actually keep our Angrath from dying, but if they only attack it with Scrap Heap Scrounger, we can exile that. Seems pretty good. Maybe Angrath will live after all. Oh, that's unfortunate. How what a what a draw. <laughs> what a draw. Why not just block if he's killing it anyway? Because they're gonna kill it pre-blocks. They're not gonna let us block. Because if we if we leave it up to block, they just they kill it before blocks. Yep. All right, so I have nothing to their two guys. That was a good draw. Hmm. I like they didn't try to get dread. Oh, it's only a sorcery. All right, that's cool. No. Just gonna play this. I have no reason not to. But it needs to be anything closer to free. Closer to you. Closer to me. Is that the song? I don't know. Oh, Heart of Kieran. Well, that should make short work of us once you find a creature that... Oh, Alright, well. Oh. Bad times. Here we go. Ruin Raider. Oh, another Dread Wanderer. Alright, well. Okay, well. This is a game. This is a grindy game. How do we have 13 life and they have 6 life? I don't understand. I'm just going to get rid of this guy before he uh, either comes back or deals me a ton of damage. If they had another creature in hand, they would have played it and crewed the Heart of Kieran, I assume? Oh, is it Dread Wander? Okay. Uh, I did see the domina, the dominaria leak. I have not looked at it enough to know if there's any cards I'm excited about. Can we just draw something good? I feel like we have a lot of good cards. I'm wondering where they are. That's a good one. I'm a fan of this spicy little gentleman. See, so here's the problem. Okay, so if we attack now, we put them to two. But if they play another guy, they can block with the Heart of Kieran in the future. If we kill this guy now, they probably can't do that. I think we're just exerting here. It puts them to two, which is pretty good. Do we have any Chandra's left? Shh. Chandra, Chandra. We have one Chandra left. All right, Glory Siphoner. 
Glint Sleeve Siphoner, rather, not Glory Siphoner. I don't know why I called you that. Glory Ring number two. Thematic Compass, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually pretty good. I don't even think we want to get a land here. I think we just want it to flip so we can push a dude back. I'm a fan. You go to one here? That's aggressive. Hmm. Old Scrappy. Scrapperino. Oh, uh, we do have one more Chandra, which kills them on the spot. Intriguing. So you have to have like Vraska's Contempt or something for Glorybringer, which is pretty brutal. There's no way you're playing four mana Vraska's Contempt, right? What the hell? What do you have? Four mana Vraska's Contempt. Sure. The top decks are so real, guys. That's unbelievable. And they get to draw another card and go to two. Sure. You got it. Yeah, I, I mean, like... <laughs> You know I have nothing, otherwise I would have played it. Like, Can we just draw a Chandra and kill you? Or another Glorybringer? I think we have two more Glorybringers left. We have one Glorybringer, one Chandra left in the deck. I'm not sure what else will win us the game. We have another Sweltering Suns. Gonti could do it, depending on what we hit. Take four. Angrath is in the graveyard already. I don't actually hate Deadlands. These games are way too close. I feel like we need more ways to close things out. Sure. That's actually fine. I don't care about that. It's annoying, but whatever. Take two. No blocks. One Glorbringer. One Chandra. I mean, at this point, I'd even take removal, like, just to have something to do with these guys. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are eight lands in our 25 card deck. I think any creature here and we're dead because then we get to... Actually, any any three power creature and we're dead. If it's a two power guy, they can crew, we can send home, and then we just take four.
Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you actually kidding me right now? Unbelievable. Please try Fleet Fleet Swallower and Fraying Sanity in Standard. Sure. Oh, uh, yep. Unbelievable. There's only 24 lands in this deck. That's actually unbelievable to me. It feels like there's significantly more lands than 24 in this deck. It feels like there's 90. Oh no, have a good night, buddy. Alright, let's see if we can two two three this bad boy. Fine. Definitely felt like hundred and five lands, you are correct. Let's get... I'm just going to get Swamp here. We have plenty of red, and black is probably our heavier color, I'd say. Neros, have a good night, buddy. Swamp, you ready? Nothing we play survives. Here we go. Kill it. No? If this Cinder Baron was an Aether Hub... So much better. I guess we'll just play the Cinder Barons. You think we should have braid the Servo Schematic just to get it off the board? That seems good, right? LaFoe, I, I believe in you believing in me, buddy. No. No, you don't think so? Seems solid. I don't know. Why wouldn't you? I think we're just playing Chandra here, right? Right! Uh, I'm just going to exile. Deal them two. Oh, alright. That's the end. Good game. I have no idea what we're playing against. Could be tokens. I'll bring another Sweltering Suns. Take out the Doomfalls. Actually, Doomfall is good for the hand. This hand actually seems great. Keep it. Were they missing blue? Is it an artifact control deck? After this round, I'm gonna get a drink, but then we are gonna play. We're gonna we'll do a we'll do a cube draft. After this, so don't don't go anywhere after this. And I'm gonna get some more beverage. Oh, the Grixis hand. Interesting.
Oh, not fatal push on my glint sleeve siphoner. You siphoned it right to the trash can. Oh, you really siphoned me good. Oh, I feel so siphoned right now. Yeah, this is the second Marionette Master deck we faced in this queue. One was Abzan, one was Grixis. So, that's good stuff. Chad, listen, buddy. You go ahead and you make mac and cheese. I uh, I wholeheartedly support that. What I don't support is you making dinner at like nine p at like eleven p.m. But you know you gotta do you gotta do you you know. Okay, two two fatal pushes. I understand. I get it. I guess mac and cheese is good at any PM. That is that is true. I can't argue with that. The Mike Arnold, thank you so much. 13 months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Um no thoughts on Dominaria so far. Haven't really had time to process it. It's hard to process a set for me before this far before it comes out, because I'm just like, well, I have all this knowledge and I just can't like apply it. Like I don't know. Oh, I see. A 5-5 five five that I cannot kill in any way, shape, or form. That is unfortunate. I'm just going to take this so I can draw one extra card because I probably need that. Hmm, God. Here's a land so that you could have discarded that land. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. We're going to go to the next game. We can't deal with this guy. We're at 12. So now we are definitely taking out the Sweltering Suns and bringing in a Braid and Hour instead. Boy. Lost Legacy on Demon of Dark Schemes or Demon Herald of Herald of Death or whatever the hell that thing's called. It seems pretty okay. Doomfall seems worse now. Actually, Chupacabra is probably good. Maybe. All right, final answer. We have a ton of ways to deal with that guy. Two unlicensed, four, three Vraska's Contempt, and a Ravenous Chupacabra now. An hour, I guess. Herald of Anguish, that's what that dude's called.
done we want it to be closer to you closer to me My card names are the best. You're right. Oh, you survive a turn? Oh, boy. How lucky. How lucky. We'll just play you. We don't have anything else to do. What else do I have to do? Am I right? What are the odds of me drawing a card next turn? Zero. They're going to play a uh, uh, Captain Lannery Storm, make a treasure, deal you four damage, and uh, sacrifice the treasure to uh, kill your Glensleep Siphoner with Fatal Push. I guess they're not doing that. Well, they have no black because but they can get it off of the Lannery Storm. Yes. Man, always be paying that black boy. Let's get it. Are you going to counter this? With the rebuke? More like rude buke. I'll just attack here. If, I, if you want to block with both these guys, that's totally fine. I'll eat both these dudes. deal total deal the problem is this glint sleep siphon is not doing anything without energy so uh, i'm pretty sure one of those plane those mono red planeswalkers is from the planeswalker deck i'm pretty sure the chandra is so that's my guess chad i don't think they're both in the actual set Man, another, another metallic rebuke, huh? Yep, you got it. No play there, huh? Okay. Oof, that's a lot of cards. I can do nothing about that. No land? That's intriguing. If we can draw something other than land, I'd be okay. That'd be great. Can you imagine? That's cute. Might as well keep that thinning going. I would have rather a treasure map, but, you know, what can you do? I wish these untapped when they flipped. Like, you always want to use them when you untap them or when they flip, but, like, sometimes you just can't. You're like, oh, cool. Oh, I guess we just win that game. They have no black mana. All right, sweet. So, uh, two, three. So, uh, yeah, make sure this deck is correct. It is not right now, so we're just going to have to uh, go in here, fix you to this, hit OK. All right, so this is the deck um, submitted by Elk Tears for, uh, just for funsies. Like, Elk, Elk Tears hosted me in uh, Brooklyn, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, so... Uh, felt pretty cool to be able to uh, showcase a deck by him um especially because it was called sean john control um so 
one of the some of the some of the things I would like to do differently. I think Tetsamok can be taken out. Six mana is also kind of expensive for this deck, even though you do get a ton of mana. Um, you want earlier things to play. I like Scorpion God a lot, especially in this format. It seems like the value you get on Scorpion God is pretty high, and it also gives us something to do with our mana, which is pretty cool. Um, I also like. Um, I think I like Aether Hub over Cinder Barons. I think even two of them, like replacing the two Cinder Barons with Aether Hubs, was coming to play untapped seems a lot better. I would even cut the Evolving Wilds. I think cutting Evolving Wilds and Cinder Barons for Aether Hub just to be able to play Aether Hub into Glint Sleeve Siphoner to make sure you get to draw a card immediately the, the following turn is very good. And um, I would probably... I don't know if I like Dusk Legion Zilla. I think Aetherborn, uh, Gifted Aetherborn is just a better card. And I would probably play more of those in the main deck. More than zero. Dusk Legion Zilla, it, it drew us a card, but a lot of times it was just chump blocking. I think there's a lot of value in playing Gifted Aetherborn. Um, and it's just a very solid dude. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Sweltering Suns I would probably replace. I get that it cycles. It's pretty good against certain decks. But a lot of the decks you just want to deal with two, two toughness. Um, which means I think either Fiery Cannonade or Golden Demise are probably better. Both from Rivals of Ixalan. Um, they both cost three mana. The, the ability to play Fiery Cannonade at instant speed is very strong. And also if you're putting in Fiery Cannonade or Golden Demise into the main deck, it makes your Gaunti and uh, Gifted Aetherborns do survive. Which is nice because right now, Sweltering Suns is killing your Gontis, it's killing your your Gifted Aetherborns, it's killing your Glint Sleeve Slide, it's killing everything, right? So, I like the idea of just having a, a, a two damage spell that is cheaper and, uh, you know, still lets your two threes survive, which is nice. Um, other than that, deck was fun. I had a good time. I mean, you know, we went two three, which is not ideal, but I think with a couple changes, like, the deck is a lot better. And uh, I do like all the removal it has. I like the Planeswalkers it has. Uh, for some reason, we drew a lot of lands, even though there's 24 in the deck. But uh, yeah, I, I, I think I think I would definitely tweak this deck and uh, still play it. So uh, if you guys are interested, you can check out the deck list in the description below. You can also check it out on the side here, this way, this way. Yeah, all right. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys uh, haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.